Done here. Let's move. I'm right behind you, Shion. out there. go. not a fish I see often. I see you've gotten even better at this. Hey, what do you think about that spot? Good idea. I'll go for that one. go. Uh. 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 
Good fishers always keep their cool. That's a bit of a letdown. Could have been worse. At least you caught something. She's got a good size to her, all told. That flapper was a true fighter. Looks like I hooked a pretty rare fish. I see you've gotten even better at this. animals back at the ranch should be all grown up by now. If you need help with anything, just let me know.
Thanks for waiting. Eat as much as you like. Make sure to get some good rest. Well, off we go. To rest here now. About damn time. Took long enough. Right! I can't wait! Head on over to the plaza. What's going on? It seems busier here than before. Hey, look! Isn't that Bayfon over there? Ah, there you are. It seems I owe you all an apology. I'm guessing you didn't find the Lord back in the forest, did you? No, but something tells me you already knew that. That I did. Turns out I bit down on some bad intel when I should have known better. Apparently, Deadeye's not as trusting of me as I thought. But why would he feed you bad intel? My guess? He wanted me to lead you all astray. Make sure you weren't sniffing around where he didn't want you to be. While you were off in the forest, I got word that one of our squads captured the Lord. The place wasn't even close to where you were searching. I see. Well, the important thing is that you finally caught her. Did you suffer many casualties? You're not going to believe this, but she didn't even put up a fight. She had no escort either. Well, what about her Master Corps? Was it recovered? Sorry. They only briefed me on the basics. For now, Deadeye's getting ready to make his victory speech out in the plaza. In the meantime, I've been ordered to set up a defense perimeter around the outside of the city. So I'll be out of town for a while. I imagine Deadeye will announce what he intends to do with the Lord during his speech. You'll have to let me know how it goes. Anyway, until next time. A Renan Lord surrendering without a fight? Something doesn't add up here. I'm afraid I can't say I know much of her Lordship personally. There's a lot about this that doesn't make sense. The Master Corps is a concern too. Let's stick around like Bayfon suggested and see what happens. We don't leave until we get to the bottom of this. I'm worried about just what Deadeye has in store for Almadria. For now, let's wait at the inn until he gives his victory speech. Everybody's so excited. They can hardly be blamed when they've apprehended an enemy leader. That said... Yeah. Isn't there some way to calm them down? be the Danans the Dark Wings freed. Yeah. The city might be in ruins. The people have risen from the ashes. This is the place Bayfon said Deadeye would reveal the Lord's fate. I wonder what he'll do to her. <sighs> well... Yes. 
It's Lord Almadria Kynaris. Please stop! No good can come of such hatred! Stop or there'll be no turning back! <laughs> 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 Is this supposed to be justice? I did warn you, did I not? Nothing good can ever come of such nasty hatred. <laughs> What do we have here? Could it really be the witch from Den? <laughs> Honestly, I thought I had wiped all of you out of existence back then. I guess there was one survivor after all. Mm. Hey, Rinwell! Shut up! This is the only thing that's keeping me going anymore. Stay out of my way or I'll kill you! Rinwell. I'll kill you. I swear it. I will kill you! Her. I'm not 
really sure, you know. But when I look into your eyes, I can't let you do it. What about you? Are you not the one who got revenge for his father? Don't I deserve that as much as you? Move aside. If you don't, then I'll blast you again. Even so... Sorry. I'm afraid that I can't let you do that. No way. I can't let you kill her. Not while your face is full of the same hatred as those people who died. <laughs> you saw what she did. What are you saying? She should just get away with it all? You're right. And well, I don't know what I'm doing. But still, I know it's wrong. If you go through with this, I know you'll regret it. I'm sorry. I am. Forgive me. I can't believe you. You, of all people. Of all the people! <laughs> Why did you... Is your little show quite finished? Why, you... For many years of my life, I devoted myself to the study of astral arts. But the knowledge I took from your family was truly enlightening indeed. For that, you deserve a reward. I shall allow you to taste one of the fruits of my labor. Ah! Here 
Is everyone all right? Yeah, but I'll major it got away. Linwell, are you... What? What the hell happened here? Bayfon, is that you? Thank goodness you're okay. I've been outside the city this whole time, but I sensed a disturbance in the wind and decided to turn back. What happened here? Where is everybody? All Madria's handiwork. She allowed herself to be captured so she could rile up the Danans into a frenzy and rob them of their astral energy. She wiped out almost everyone in the plaza, including Deadheim. Deadheim's dead. Everyone. And the Darkwings. Almost all of our companions in the Resistance. How could this happen? Regardless of what she had to gain, what kind of person would do something like that? If she managed to find kinship in Kelzalek, then I'd say the very worst kind. It's clear now that she used Men and Sia as a testing ground for the fruits of Helgen, before using them here. So everything that led up to this moment was all a part of her plan. Once she knew they'd eaten enough tainted food, she just needed to get herself caught. We have to go after her. Balseth and Ganabel were horrible, but Almadria makes them look like saints. I doubt she's really gone back into hiding. We have to put an end to this, once and for all. Yeah, what she's done can't be forgiven. I... I don't know what to do. I saw what hatred did to those people, but... Hating her is the only thing that's kept me going. I can't just stop hating her. What am I supposed to do? Tell me. Smile at her from across the battlefield? Apologize while we fight her? I don't know if I can do that. Rinwell. Nobody can understand what you've been through. We can't even begin to imagine the pain you've experienced. But if hate is what has kept you going ever since that day, then let it be your strength. However, think about this. When you've had your revenge, when we've beaten Almadria, then what will you do? Huh? I'm saying you're going to have to find a way to survive once that hatred is gone. When it is, what do you plan on doing then? I don't... I don't know. I've never thought about it before. Almadria's death doesn't have to be your end, too. You need a reason to live, Rinwell, not an excuse to die. Understand? <laughs> She's right. We could never truly know the pain that Almadria has caused you. But I think you should listen to Xion. Give yourself time to consider things. And if it's too much right now, it's okay for you to sit this one out. No. My head might be a mess right now. But I'm not letting you fight Almadria without me. I need to be there, please. That much I do know. I'm going with you. And on the road, I'll... 
I'll think about it. A reason to live, without hate. That said, it'll be no good chasing after her blind with no idea where she went. Bayfon, do you have any ideas where she might have gone? I can't say for sure, but west of here is an underground harbor along a cliff near the coast. She spent years building a ship there, a floating fortress that she called her castle on the sea. No one quite knew why she wanted the thing, but now... Of course, she's already effectively destroyed her own capital. It's likely she planned to abandon her realm as well. Right. That's as good a lead as any. Let's go. What's that woman going to do next? Nothing good, I'll bet. We'll stop it this time. <laughs> I still can't believe what that Almadria did. Not only that, but she was enjoying it. It's patently clear she has no respect for human life whatsoever. We need to take her out. I don't think I've ever felt so enraged at another person in my whole life. Yeah! There's no way she's getting away with this! Then we head for the underground docks. We need to hurry. Rinwell, can you keep moving? Y yeah My family and I, we spent all of our days just living in hiding. Until... Until one day when we were found and attacked. I was the only one my dad and the others hid. That's the reason I survived. While the rest of my family was butchered. The only thing that I could see was the crest of a lord glowing through the smoke. And then... And then... It was Almadria who did it. Oh. I'm sorry, Rinwell. That woman... Did she really find the existence of Dan and Mages to be that much of a threat? Enough to invade another lord's territory? No, I doubt that. Most likely, she was after their knowledge and techniques. She only did it so she could become stronger. That's the kind of woman she is. In retrospect, I do remember her making it sound like she created that monster she summoned. A monster? I wonder... Do you all think of me as a monster? Because I'm able to use magic even though I'm Danon? Rinwell... Of course we don't think you're a monster, you dummy. Huh? I might have had to hold you back, but it's her fault any of this ever happened, not yours. Got it? Ah...
What do you say we check back in on the ranch? Have you guys checked your equipment lately? I hope we manage to catch Almadria soon. I hope so too, before she can cause any more havoc. <laughs> you okay, Rinwell? Oh, uh, yeah. Don't push yourself too hard now, okay? Okay, thanks. <sighs> Oh, Hoodle. I don't know what to do. Thanks for waiting. Eat as much as you like. Rinwa, mind if we chat a little? you. Another day, another gold. Dead end? No, there's an elevator. Looks operational. I can't believe there's actually an underground harbor here. There are even boats docked. I only see Danits. Think they were forced to work here? Probably. Let's see what they have to share about Almadria.
You didn't happen to see a lord come by, did you? Sorry, friend, but she just left. Came by with a whole posse of underlings, boarded her ship, and took off at first wind. We damn near got blown away. She was that much in a hurry. Damn! So we missed her! You guys trying to go after her? Need a ride? Are you saying you know how to steer a ship? Spent most of my life chained to the deck of some ship or other. Yeah, I know my jib from my boom. We don't know how dangerous it'll be. Better you give us the boat and stay on solid ground. Whoa there! You been out on the water before? The sea ain't nobody's friend, you know. You need a sea dog like me or you'll sink her before she makes it out the harbor. We're losing time. Sir, we're in your debt. Now that's more like it. Name's Mahavar. Just give me a holler when you're all set and we'll set sail. Looks like we made it here in one piece. You see anybody around here who could use our help? We can't... Hmm? Hello. Huh. Kisar. Right. Go! 
to me. Really now? We've reached our destination. Let's see what's going on around here. Yeah, there might be... Oh. Hmm?
Right. Excuse me! Well... Looks like we made it here in one piece. What do you want to do about that big one? Let's take it down. Don't get careless. Shattering the pieces! I'll bring you back up! I'll do this all day! 
Bad guys really don't mess around. You sense one of your pals, Hoodle? up for a bit there's nothing here it doesn't even connect to Vicent nope let's quit wandering around and get back to work I wonder just how many people have been saved by Xion in some form. I'm impressed. There's rumors flying around about people being saved by a Renin vision of beauty. V vision of beauty? That's a bit much. Alfin had better stay on his toes. Where do I come into this? You're saying we should check the Owl Forest? Radar. Radar. Little help! Oh, no, 
concentration of astral energy around it. Oh, does that mean there's treasure buried underneath here or something? Who said anything about treasure? Looks like we made it here in one piece. Ugh. Okay. Seriously? See anybody around here who could use our help? We can't chase after every little thing. Hmm. You okay? Okay. Huh? Here we go.
Looks like we made it here in one piece. I bet that one could give me a decent... Workout? You're planning to fight it alone? No way! I need your help. Close for comfort. Thank you. 
Looks like we made it here in one piece. Hey, if we find anyone who needs help here... I know. Oh? Yeah! Woman. She was a handful, wasn't she? What's wrong with being passionate? Not to mention, she was kind of cute. Of course that's why you like her. Hm. Hmm. Well...
Yeah. I don't think I'll ever quite warm up to her. But I can respect her passion for books. You've got a good sense for people. That can't be. No. Oh, wow. Hey. Looks like we made it here in one piece. Do you sense one of your friends? Looks like we got another reward. I didn't realize that so many still remained. Dan and Owls truly are majestic indeed. I thought the Dan and Owls had all but died out myself. That's what I get for making assumptions. Just so we're clear, this place is supposed to be a secret. Yes, I'm aware. Places like these should be kept out of the public eye. It's a pity, though. With proper training, they could be made into a magnificent chorus. <laughs> what are they hooting about now? Alfin and Xion can interpret for us, right? Huh? Oh, no, I mean, it was just a lucky guess last time. Yeah? Maybe you'll be lucky twice. Go on, give it a shot. Uh, really? Well, if you say so. Ahem. <clears throat> Let's see. Listen to them. Are they really up to the task? <sighs> what do you mean? You're the one who put them in charge. <laughs> it's my responsibility to protect our friends. Stop trying to take everything upon yourself. This is what the owls are saying? Of, of course. course. Uh... I must say, though, we've found quite a number of owls. It's a testament to how much you care for Hoodle, Rinwell. Hmm... I wonder which branch Hoodle will perch on. Rinwell? Oh, nothing. Don't mind me. 
Well, come on! The perches are only half filled. We've got to find the rest of the owls. This is like a dream come true. Never gotten a captain a ship before. Never would have thought I'd get a chance like this. Thank you, y'all. The pleasure's all ours. Think we'll catch up to her? Of course we will. They got too much weight on them. Meanwhile, this ship's carrying nothing but us salty scalawags. They got a good head start on us, but we can take them. Do you know if there are any Danons on that ship? Couldn't say for sure. On the one hand, seeing as it's supposed to be something of another castle, I'd reckon they probably wouldn't let a bunch of Danons on board. On the other hand, I'd be real surprised if the Renans were able to pilot that thing all by themselves. In any case, it's gonna be a while before we reach her. Until then, you're all free to do whatever. Just don't fall in the ocean. I know Mahavar said we could take it easy, but there's not exactly a lot to do on this boat. I guess I'll check in on everyone and see how they're holding up. I took a look around inside the ship just in case, but I didn't find anything that looked like it might be suspicious. Thanks. I appreciate it. You know, it wasn't until I left Calaglia that I finally realized just how big the world is. When we tore down the wall in Calaglia, and I could finally see the horizon in the far-off distance, I had the exact same thought. Yeah, somehow the sea is different, though. I'm not sure just how to put it. It's almost as if it just... goes on forever. I bet my old man would have been blown away by this view. Yeah. Ever since he died, I've been thinking about what it was that he was really trying to say to me at the end. I keep going over his words again and again. And heck... Maybe I'm just overthinking it all, but still, sometimes I wonder if it could have turned out differently, if there was something I could have done. But no matter how much I play it back, I'm still no closer to finding any answers. And then there's everything with Rinwell. I stopped her from killing Almadria, but was that really the right thing to do? Or did I just end up making things harder for her? I feel like such a screw up. You're not the only one. I keep asking myself what Zephyr would have done had he been here. Like I think, how would Zephyr have handled Rinwell? Yeah, I think he definitely would have stopped her. No doubt about it. And that's exactly what you did, Law. I think he'd be really proud of you. Alfin. Zephyr's not the worst yardstick to measure ourselves against. Let's both do our best to make him proud. Sounds like a deal. Thanks, Alfin. Hold that pose long enough and someone might just come along and paint you. Any artist who'd see fit to paint me needs their eyes tested. What can you tell me about Almadria? Not as much as you'd probably wish. I only ended up crossing paths with her a handful of times, after I was chosen to be a lord on Lenicus. Ah, right. 
I almost forgot about Lenigus. How much do you think they know about what's been going on down here? It's safe to assume they know everything, though I know not why they choose to remain uninvolved. Perhaps they see what's been happening as just part of the ongoing crown contest. Even what Almadria did? Has it really reached the point where her actions are seen as normal? Not to my knowledge, no. At its core, the crown contest is a competition to see who can amass the most astral energy. And to amass such energy, slaves are needed to collect it from. It's therefore against the Lord's interest to kill them. So then why would Almadria do something like that? We must remember that time is running out in the crown contest. Perhaps her hand was forced, so to speak. It is a way to accrue astral energy faster and in larger quantities than through slave labor. Doing so kills off that labor force, obviously. But it is a means to an end, nonetheless. No one could have foreseen that something like the Hollowing would arise back when the contest was first conceived. Is becoming the Sovereign of Rena really that important to the Lords? Of course. It's the greatest prize one can attain in their eyes. In that respect, at least, I'm really not that surprised that Almadria resorted to what she did, as utterly despicable as it is. It's reassuring to hear you feel the same way I do. I worry that the only reason I never did anything similar in Menencia was due to my lack of ambition. If you didn't want to be reminded of your past, you could have just plugged your ears. You think too highly of me. I'm afraid I must respectfully disagree. I'm not nearly as virtuous of a person as you might wish to believe. If that's so, would you have been so shaken up when Kisara lost her brother? Why else would you turn your back on your own kind and choose to fight for Megal's dream? Aren't we just Danans? A curious choice of words. Did what you see in Mahog Sar hit you that hard? What Dead Arm did to that city, he didn't liberate anyone. Anyone who refused to follow him was an enemy in his eyes. Three hundred years of Renan rule taught him nothing. What I have come to understand is that the conflict extends beyond Danon versus Renan. There is an internal quarrel as well. I mean to bring about a true, lasting coexistence in Menencia. But there are more walls we must topple first. And you don't think you can pull it off? Well, you seem to think you can, at least. Does that make us enemies? Insofar as an exchange of swordplay, no, it doesn't. Not good enough for you? Are you really... <sighs> Forgive me. I will continue to fight by your side a while longer. That much I have decided. You don't look so good. Are you all right? The floor. It keeps moving. How can you stand it? How can you even stand? I'm not the best person to ask about discomfort. I can't feel pain, remember? I still can't believe what happened in Niez. Even now. As a lord, my expectations for Almadria were already pretty low. But the way she treated human lives like they're mere playthings. Yeah. And it wasn't as if the situation in Niaz was improving much to begin with. You mean dead I'm. The whole reason I started fighting back was because of my anger at the atrocities of Renan rule. Back then, all I had to worry about was fighting the Renans for the sake of the Danans. But then I met Shion and the people of Menencia, and things became a lot more complicated. It's even messier now that we have to worry about Danans like dead I'm. It used to be that the Danans were the ones in the right, and the Renans were the ones in the wrong. Though, maybe that was just a biased perspective from being on the side of the oppressed. Exactly. I'll never tolerate the Renans ruling over us, but nothing ever ends up being as black and white as you'd expect it to be either. That's clear to me now. That said, even putting aside bad apples like Dead I'm for a moment, you may be able to free the Danon people, but that won't undo 300 years of oppression. It'll be hard for them to not give in to their resentment. I think maybe that's why I clung to our dream so hard back in Menencia. 
Even if his motivations weren't pure, Doathleem has a good heart. He didn't sink to the depths Almadria did. You don't understand. I'm saying that it goes deeper than that. This hierarchy we live in, it's not solely something the Renans invented. I remember a story Rinwell once told me. She said before the Renans invaded, we Danans had our own class system. We are the ones who divided ourselves. I saw it in Deadheim's eyes. He wanted to rule over others. To hear Bayfon tell it, Deadheim wasn't always that way. But as time went on, and he and the Darkwings fought the Renans, he eventually changed. I guess what I'm getting at is, if we defeat the Renans but just go back to the way things were before, was there even any point in fighting? But that world isn't the one you want to create, right? Maybe not. But to tell you the truth, these days I'm not so sure that dream is even possible. You have your promise to Megal, though. Your home and the people of Menencia are depending on you. I know. My brother. He truly believed in his dream of coexistence. And I suppose, even now, many people still do. And then, there's you. Who, me? You and Xion. <clears throat> Not sure I follow. Okay, then let me spell it out for you. How many other Renans and Danans do you know that get on as spectacularly as the two of you? I don't know that I'd say spectacularly. Well, I suppose it's really all a matter of how you look at it, isn't it? I really don't see what you're getting. Ooh, I think I'm getting seasick again. Sorry. Can you just give me a wide berth for a few minutes? Law is okay? If you're worried, why don't you ask him yourself? Yeah. I think maybe I should apologize to him, too. I should apologize to all of you, really. Us, too? Well, I was kind of lying to you all this whole time. I was blind to everything except my own revenge. I never even considered the struggles all of you might be facing. We all have things we'd prefer to keep to ourselves, Rinwell. So what if you had something to hide? It doesn't undo the good that you've done, or the people that you've helped save along the way. But that's not what I mean. I know. You're talking about Almadria, right? Yeah. I hate her, Alfin. I can't stop hating her. Even just thinking about her makes my head feel like it's going to explode. But it's not just her. I think about the way Law looked at me. I hated the Lord who killed my parents. And I hated the Renans I had to travel alongside. And yet, Cislodius Danans backstab each other like it's a normal way of life. And Mahog Sar has people like Deadeye. But then there are people like Law and Xion. It's all just too much. I don't know what to think anymore. Law never said that you had to forgive Almadria. It's only natural you would hate your family's murderer. But... But what? Law left home because of how much he hated his father. As a result of that, well, I think Law spent a lot of time thinking about how they never got to make things right. <sighs> and if I had to guess, killing Ganabel didn't make any of those feelings go away. Law let revenge fuel him, and I think now he's afraid you'll do something you'll regret. Afraid? Whatever happens to Almadria when this is all over is up to you. I'll respect whatever choice you make. Just think it over carefully for me, okay? You still have time. 
Okay. Thanks, Alfin. Say, um, back then, after the fight, I think I really made Xion mad. I don't know, though. Maybe it just looked that way. But I guess I just can't seem to understand how she feels. Do you know why she gets like that? Xion's... She can be a tough nut to crack. She doesn't really talk a whole lot about herself. It's just what she said about hate being a source of strength. Where did that come from? I wonder how it feels... ...not being able to hold another person's hand. Much further, you'll go overboard. Keeping an eye out for Almadria's ship? I'm looking at the ocean. The ocean? Yeah. The waves. They help me think. This world is filled with natural wonders. The icy air and white peaks of Cislodia, the lush green glades of Menencia, the harsh wastes of Calaglia. But Menencia has its lake of death, and Nias its ruins. And they wouldn't be there if it weren't for that contest. Say we actually manage to put a stop to the Crown Contest for good. What do you think will happen between the Danans and the Renans then? You first. Well, I... I want to believe that the coexistence we saw in Menencia can happen elsewhere, too. It's just... it's insane for all of us to keep fighting. If Menencia can do it, so can everyone else. Yeah, I think that would be good too. A world where everyone can get along. At least, that's what I've come to believe. You sure have changed. I can't lie to you. Since I was young, I've looked down on the Danans too. But I've seen a lot. And I see things differently now. I've seen so many ugly and terrible things in this world. And yet... They didn't come from just the Danans. And the good things, too. They didn't come from just the Renans. Kindness and cruelty exist on both sides. A person's race doesn't factor into it. So, I guess you're right after all, Alfin. I have changed. You know, I've never actually touched another person like this. Shion. Ever since I was on Lenegas, I've always been alone. Even after I came to Dana. Always. And now? Do you still not remember your past? No. Sometimes it feels like I can almost remember. But then this mask stops me. The mask keeps you from remembering why you have the mask in the first place. It's a little ironic, isn't it? <laughs> a little.
Well, it won't be long now before you're rid of those thorns, you know? <sighs> Only two lords remain. And once you have their master course, you'll be able to create the Renis Alma, right? Then you can... Uh... <laughs> Shion? Sorry, it's nothing. Promise. You're right, though. It'll all be over soon. I never could have made it this far on my own. I have everyone to thank for that. Including... Especially you, Alfin. Don't worry about it. We're friends, after all. Yeah, we are. Much longer it's going to be before we catch up to Almadria. I'll ask Mahavar. Look who's up! Good timing! We're closing in on her stern as we speak. That's the ship? She's huge! Law, go gather the others, will you? Think you'll be able to flank them without getting spotted? Yeah, with the fog as our ally, I think I might just pull it off. Long as we ain't too noisy, we should be okay. What'll you do if they catch on to us? Not much I can do. Ship that size, they'll probably blow us to bits before we ready cannons. Persistent little things. Evidently, I shouldn't have spared the wretched vermin. Hungry already, my dear. Worry not. For you shall have plenty to feast upon shortly. Perfect. You managed to get us right up beside them. I'll stay with the ship so we can leave as soon as you're done. Good. Then let's find Almadria. Shion, um, I want to thank you. What brought this on? What you said helped to calm me. Uh, don't mention it. Now that's what I call a ship! Yeah, the biggest one in all of Mahogsar. So big that it took years to construct. For all we know, Kelselik may well have been smuggling materials to help build it. In which case it would be yet another mistake on my part. We don't know that she was only getting materials from Menencia. You think it's possible that they might have come from elsewhere, too? Yeah, I guess I could see it. But what do you think Almadria plans to do from here on out, now that she's abandoned her realm and sailed out to sea? 
She'll be filling her coffers with gold, most likely. Then she'll sit back and enjoy the show as the other lords duke it out. Or something to that effect, at least. I wouldn't put it past her. She's strong, yet shrewd, and will stoop to any low. A dangerous one, indeed. She's not the first, and she won't be the last. This is a lord we're talking about, remember? Sounds like you've made up your mind already. There was never anything to decide. No one who can smile like that while doing what she did deserves to roam free. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. This might not be the best time, but if you have a minute... Hmm? That mask of yours, it was shattered by a blow from Balsef when you fought back in Calaglia, correct? Yeah, thanks for the reminder. I thought I was a goner. Balsef's brute strength was in a league all its own. Yet half the mask remains. It's remarkably durable. Too durable to be Danon in origin. Shion said the same thing. As if the fact I was wearing it meant there had to be more to me than met the eye. You recalled your name when the mask broke, I hear. Yeah, that's right. Although to tell you the truth, I'm a little scared what might happen when I lose the remaining half. Then again, the idea of not doing something because I'm afraid scares me even more. That's why I go on fighting. Only he who first faces the night catches a glimpse of the dawn. Come again? It's nothing. Forget I said anything. 